Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your connection to the person that you are needing to learn the most from right now. We're looking at all three sides of the connection. We've got your energy toward the connection, their energy toward the connection, and then the energy in between the connection. Um, the concept for these readings is that there are three sides to every story. So looking at your side of the truth, their side of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle. Um, I've got a different tarot deck for each side of the connection. So we can see if there's any mirroring or, and just kind of dive into what's going on here. And then I have an advice card that I will be pulling um, in the extended. But uh, okay, any information on the extended is in the description box below. The one thing that I like to mention with this read, these readings is to try to think outside the box. Don't just think romantic connections. You know, you could be dealing with friends, family members, um, coworkers, bosses, anyone that you're feeling reactive to or triggered by that you're ultimately needing to learn from at this time. However, this one feels kind of romantic. Um, it, it doesn't have to be, but it kind of feels like that. Because on your side of the connection, you have meditate with fire. There is a lot of fiery energy on your side um, of this connection. So when you experience that, it can be hard to, to find clarity in the, like the truth or how you really feel about the connection, um, especially when there's a lot of passion. And, you know, that passion can can also be a lot of like can turn into a lot of anger. It's not it's not only just, you know, good feeling emotions, too. Um, so your side of the connection, like right off the bat, just feels like there's this need to um, calm yourself a little bit because I feel like you're getting kind of caught up in the fiery um, emotion whirlwind that comes with these types of connections. And when I talk about these types of connections, I mean divine connections because on this side of the connection, they have divine masculine and divinity. Now, please remember that you can resonate more with this side of the connection than this side of the connection. Um, so take it as it resonates. You know, these energies can absolutely be swapped, but and, and when I talk about divine masculine, that does not mean a male, as a, an actual male. It's talking about masculine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energies within us. But this person is your reflection of the divine masculine within you. So this is a very divine connection, and it's very, um, it's very intense. I can just, I feel, I feel the intensity here. I feel the fiery energy that you're kind of dealing with here. Um, but in between this connection, you have guides and time. So right now, <laughs> I feel like you're wanting a lot of things with this connection to happen right now. But the way that I'm seeing this is this connection. I mean, if you look at this guides, it kind of looks like waves in a way. Like this connection really needs to, I don't know why that's so reflective, um, really needs to flow. And it's going to take time for it to come together in the way that it needs to. And that's why, like, on your side, you kind of have the need to, like, like calm down a little bit. Um, because it's, it's going to take time. This connection is going to take time to, um, to unfold the way that it needs to. Now, that's the way it goes with divine connections. It's the way it goes with these types of connections. So, um, yeah. A lot going on here, so I'm kind of excited to jump in to tarot. So let's start by looking at Virgo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. So it's Virgo's side of the connection to this person. It was kind of interesting. So I meant to mention this, so I'm going to pause on shuffling really quick. Um, on this side of the connection, I actually had to reshuffle. Because Divine Masculine came out first, and then when I, because I'm pulling two cards for each, Divine Feminine and Power came out. So the way that I read that was this was about you finding the Divine Power within you. But I was a little confused on how this was their energy towards you. So I, I, re, I, took, I put all the cards back in, I reshuffled, and Divine Masculine came out again with Divinity. And so it definitely, like, I mean, all three of those cards that came out were, had the word divine in them, um, which I thought was interesting. But let's, let's dive into your side here. This is looking at Virgo's side of the connection to this person. This is Virgo's side of this connection, please. The 
divine connections aren't always romantic. Remember that. They're not always meant to come back together either. So remember that too. It says this person side of the connection. There's the artist with the temperance. Yeah. Okay. You are in creation mode. Right now, Virgo. Um, this deck has two additional major arcanas. This this artist is one of them. And you can literally see it's like him creating his life from above um, so that it can come, you know, down. You're in creation mode. And I like that. I do like that that energy. And I like this kind of patience energy that you're in. It's it's almost like 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 in this. You know, the thing that, that's coming up the most for me is this little eye that's at the top of the card. It's like you're really kind of relying on your intuition right now, especially when it comes um, to this connection. So I like to see that. My biggest fear is that you're – actually – I don't feel that yet because I was going to say my biggest fear is that you are putting too much emphasis on the connection. I don't necessarily feel that actually. Let me, let me get more here on this. I, it, it like kind of feels like it, but not really. <laughs> Let's get more. This is Virgo's side of this connection. You are the artist. You are the artist. You're having you're having patience with this connection, which is good. I just hope you're not giving this person too much the benefit of the doubt. But let's see. This is Virgo's side of the connection. The Five of Swords in reverse. And the King of Pentacles. Okay, no. Virgo, this is kind of kick-ass energy. Because... You're, it's almost like you're like, you're putting a lot of faith in the divine here. Like you're basically saying, if this doesn't work out, or if this doesn't come together, or if, you know, whatever time it's supposed to come together, I'm going to allow it. It's almost like you're like, you, because I, I feel like, I don't know if this connection's in separation or not. I don't, I don't know. It could be, but I don't know. But you're wanting like a new beginning with the connection. You're wanting things to move forward here, but you're also not putting a lot of pressure on it. I think it's in separation. It doesn't have to be. You're also not putting a lot of pressure on it. This is you. I mean, you are, um, if this is your reading, you're kind of beaming divine feminine energy right now. That ability to focus on yourself, to focus on, you know, your path and to allow connections of all forms to find you. The um attract not chase, right? And and I really um I really like that. Now, if you're not in that energy, this is kind of a message saying that you need to get in that energy to understand that this is about attracting, not chasing. But I feel like that's kind of what you're doing here. Let's see. This is Virgo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Four of Cups of the Universe of the King of Wands. Oh, here's what I was feeling. It, there's a level of you, okay, so you are kind of waiting on this connection a little bit. And my biggest fear was that you were, you were putting too much emphasis on this connection, particularly speaking about your happiness, believing that you won't be happy unless this connection is in your life. Now, you are being patient. You are, um, you know, you are trying to attract, not chase. And I do, I absolutely respect that. But your focus, make sure that you're not getting lost in if it's not this person, it's no one. Um, I've got a, I've got a pretty, uh, pretty interesting twin flame story for you guys. But 
I won't be telling it in this reading because that's going to take a lot of time. But just remember that not all divine connections are supposed to come together. But let's see, because I don't want your focus to be like the belief that this person is the only one who can make you happy. Because that's kind of where your focus is at right now. Like, I'll be happy when this happens. It's okay to believe that they have the potential to make you happy. But don't believe, don't put your happiness in the hands of someone else. That's what I'm saying. This person's energy toward the person they're dealing with. Because that is a very, very dangerous uh, game to play. Okay, Magician in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, and Nine of Swords in reverse. You need to understand that the type of connection you're looking for, taking this one out of the picture, like if if it's not this person, if this if this person and you aren't, if this isn't this person is supposed to be in your life, you need to realize that you will be provided with the person you want to be with. And I feel like that's kind of what this is saying right now because you have the page of cups in reverse, which is a tendency of like not really listening to the signs. And then you have the nine of swords in reverse, which is this need to kind of release a little bit of the anxiety you have, the attachment you have to the outcome. And then the magician in reverse, which is like doubt and manifestation. So the way that I'm putting this all together is realize that if, and this might help you kind of remove yourself from the belief that it has to be one person. Because again, that's a very dangerous road to go down. Um, I've watched it happen with so many people. And I obviously don't want it to happen to those reader, the, the viewers on my channel. But um, just know that you have, you deserve to be happy. And don't let the, the, the whole divine connection aspect, because divine connections are our biggest teacher. They're here to teach us the most. Yes, they're intense and yes, there's a lot of passion and yes, there's a lot of fiery energy and, and you know, whatever the case is, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are always going to be healthy. Um, and it certainly does not mean that that means that this is the person that you are supposed to be with in this lifetime. Now, I'm not saying that is the case with this connection. I'm not telling you what the, the this isn't, I'm not reading the truth. I'm just giving kind of my, um, my insight of like I've been here before kind of energy. So make sure you're listening to the signs. That's why you have meditate. There's a need to get a little bit more clear-minded around the connection because right now you're focused a lot on the the passion, the like the fiery um, intensity that exists in this connection. You're not focusing. You're, and there's the need to get a little bit more clear in your head about what's going on here. This person's energy or uh, Virgo's energy toward the person they are dealing with. This is what I was afraid of. Okay, this is what I was feeling. So you have the temperance with the hermit in reverse. Be patient about a connection coming back together all you want, okay? But you have almost withdrawn yourself from opening your heart up to what the universe has in store for you. And you've done that because you believe that this person is your path. And I, again, I'm not saying whether or not that's the case, but there's more to what's going on here um, than you ultimately realize. And really make sure that you're not waiting for somebody. You don't want to be waiting for someone. You can attract and not chase, but don't try to just attract one specific person because that can get you caught in your own agenda, keeping you from what the universe has in store for you. So keep that in mind here. Don't withdraw yourself from, because it feels like, I feel like this connection has a lot of potential, but I don't, and I will always say, don't live for potential. Don't live for the hope of some, someone potentially being what they could be, right? Because that's someone who doesn't really exist. This person side of the connection, Virgo side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Virgo side of this connection, please. Because remember, you deserve to be happy in love. Yeah, because you're wanting a new beginning. But it's like, 
you're the full universe with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but it's like not because there you are. You're stuck. You feel like without this person, you're at a lack. You feel like if it's not this person, you're never going to be happy. And that is a I'm and I'm not saying it's not this person. I'm saying that's a very, very dangerous mindset because that can get that can put your happiness into the hands of someone else. So that's why you have meditate is is to pull your power back. That's why you had divine feminine and power. This really is about taking your power back from this connection. Take your power back from the connection. Don't put your happiness and potential happiness in the hands of somebody else because you will find yourself, you will lose yourself in the connection. And it's super easy to do when you're dealing with a, um, a divine connection. All right. Let's see what this person has going on here. This is this person's energy toward Virgo, please. This person's energy toward Virgo. This person's energy toward Virgo. When I talk about divine connections, I used to be a twin flame tarot reader back in the day. Um, I actually used to have a different, a whole different channel a couple years ago um, that I actually completely got rid of because I didn't like that I was focusing primarily on twin flames. But when I talk about divine connections, please remember that that is also a reflection of yourself. So if I'm reading this energy over here, try to see how that also relates to you, because that can help you see where the um, the intensity is stemming from, the intense like attachment to the connection is stemming from. Um, because remember, divine connections are a reflection of you. This person is a reflection of the divine masculine within you. So the five of wands in reverse of the judgment. Um, this person does. And the four, same four of cups in reverse as you. There's going to be a lot of mirroring in this. I can already tell you that. Um, this person feels like there's a lot of conflict here. Now, I feel like they have a tendency to focus more on the conflict than on the um, the good things in the connection. And maybe they, they've withdrawn because of that. This could be a chaser runner kind of situation. I don't, I, I said it, I don't feel you chasing. I do feel you're trying to attract. But I feel like this is still trying to attract this specific person. And that's, I want more on this. I want more on this message. What is this five of wands in reverse saying? Because it feels like the conflict in this connection, because look at that, there's the temperance and the king of pentacles. We saw both of those. Um, okay. Okay. So. Oh, I put this over here. The conflict in this connection. It might seem like everything, every little thing becomes a big thing or whatever the conflict is, it, it becomes very. Um, intense very fast and that's because there is a lot of mirroring and a lot of triggering going on in this connection now this person doesn't know how to deal with that they don't know how to deal with that because when you're dealing with a, a, a connection that reflects back kind of the truth of you and who you are um it's it's really easy to run from that because it's not running from you it's running from themselves and so it's almost like, like, yes, this person needs to heal and this person needs to, you know, take a look within and, and kind of go within here. But I also feel at the same time, you are like waiting around for this person to do the work. And um, I feel like, cause yeah, this is what this temperance and king of pentacles is talking about. Is this, is this is almost alluding to the message that came up over here. And it's saying you're waiting for this person to work through their internal conflict. And that isn't, um, that isn't fair to you. That's why you have time is it's like this connection is going to have to flow. It's going to take a lot more time than you 
would like for this connection to work out. Now, there's a lot to learn from these connections. A lot of awakenings happen in, happen through this connection. You know, these connections are usually the root of awakenings. Um, they can also be very rude awakenings. Um, these connections can reflect trauma to you, you know, childhood trauma, uh, insecurities, all the insecurities that you kind of have get reflected back through these divine connections. Um, divine connections, sure, they have a lot of potential, but the potential isn't the point. It's the healing and what this person is trying to teach you that is ultimately the point. But let's get more. This is this person's energy toward Virgo. This person's energy toward Virgo. The Empress in reverse. This is the Queen of Wands. I think we saw the King of Wands too. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You do not have to be. You, okay. This is really interesting because it's more telling me less about this person's energy toward you and more about how this person's energy affects you, which is really interesting because I saw that when I was pulling these cards. Oh my gosh, I just look, look at this. This is why. I just realized this. Look at this divine masculine card. This divine masculine card is 02 and then this divinity card is 20. This is literally talking about reflection. So that's why it's, it's, it's really the point of this reading is less about this person's energy toward you and more about how this inner, their energy is impacting you because this person triggers the part of you that doesn't choose yourself because it almost feels as if, remember you saw the nine of swords in reverse. I told you there's going to be a lot, of a lot of mirroring in this. Um, this person doesn't is is not yet capable of giving you what you deserve now you know that you know that and maybe that's why you're you're being very patient with them is because you know this person has the potential but the thing is is the more that you wait on them to change the more that you are not choosing yourself and opening up to maybe there's somebody else out there for you maybe there's somebody who can provide you with the love that you ultimately deserve like this is you know, these twin flame connections are kind of a passion of mine because something I've learned over my time as being being in the spiritual community, being a tarot reader, dealing with a twin flame myself, is that the purpose of these connections is very misunderstood. And the romantic aspect of them has very little to do with these divine connections. These divine connections are here to shake you to your core and awake you and, and change you from the inside out. And it's painful and it's hard. And a lot of times it can be devastating, but the purpose of them is so much greater than being the love of your life, because that's actually very, very rarely the case. And so what this is, this reading, this reading is, is very much saying that this connection triggers you so that you can take your power back. This is about you taking your power back. This is this person's energy toward Virgo. Yes, because look there, that yeah, there's the fool. They have the fool here too. Um, there's a car. There's a lot of karma that exists in between this connection. So all the five of pentacles on your side too. Um, there's a lot of karma that exists in between this connection and this person has a lot of karma that they have to work through before they're ever going to be able to be the person that is who you deserve. So that's why don't put your emphasis on this new beginning, especially when you're dealing with twin flame connections detachment is the goal because here's the thing if you are still attached this person will continue to get pushed away there will continue to be conflict there will continue to be back and forth um and push and pull you have to learn to detach because one of two things is going to happen you're either going to detach you're going to move on and you are going to open the door to attract who is meant for you in this lifetime or you are going to detach you're going to move on and this connection will come back either way is a win 
And I feel like right now you're focused on, I need it to be this person. I need this person to work out. I need this person to, to come back or, or to, to work with me or whatever the case is. When in reality, the truth is that this, there's a karmic, there's a karmic thing going on here. Um, now you you might, the first reaction when I say that is people might say, well, divine connections can't be karmic. That is a very false statement. It's not that it's a karmic connection. It's that there is karma in between the connection. I bet we'll see that when we look at the truth. This person, and, and ultimately what that means is you each have karma to work through personally that is being reflected back at you through the connection. This person's energy toward the person they are dealing with. It's making me kind of want to do twin flame readings again. I mean, this kind of is one. Yeah, see, this person doesn't have their heart open. The Queen of Swords in reverse. And with the um, the Ten of Wands in reverse, you need to not bear that burden. If this person is not able to open their heart to the um, divine love that is able to exist in between not just this connection, but a, a real, true, um, solid connection that's meant for you, that is not your burden to bear. And you do not deserve to wait around for that to happen. Please remember that. Um, there's the hermit in reverse, same as what, what you have right there. So a lot of mirroring here, which was very, I can't believe I didn't see that. This person's energy toward Virgo. This person's energy toward Virgo. Look at that. The attachment. The full in reverse with the devil in reverse. Okay. There is, and there's the king of pentacles. Okay. There is so much more to the reason that you are attached to this connection than you realize. You are not attached to this connection solely because this person has the potential to be everything that you want. That they're the romantic, fiery energy and emotion that comes with it. That's a very small part of the purpose of this connection. That's there so that you stay attached to it to learn what you need to to detach. And what this is talking about is your attachment, because it, it goes both ways. I mean, it's almost like when you're attached to them, they're unable to be open. And it's not saying that if you detach, there's a guarantee that they will, you know, be open to it. But there's more going on here than you are seeing. And that's why you have meditate. Look past the emotion because this, this is so interesting because it's almost like, it's like, a, it's like, yeah, this person doesn't have the ability on an emotional and spiritual level to be what you deserve. And again, I feel like you know that. And that's why you're like patiently waiting for them. But this is about taking your power back and opening your heart up to maybe other paths that will ultimately make you happier. This person's energy toward the person they are dealing with. Yeah, look at that. They are not giving, okay, the lovers in reverse with the 10 of wands in reverse, they are not giving you what you deserve and that is not your burden to bear. You are, you are carrying that burden. They, they, don't, they don't take action toward you. They don't communicate. They don't, um, they don't have their heart open. They don't, and, and a lot of that is because they need to heal too, right? This connection is powerful on both sides. But you need to drop the burden of this person's healing and believe that until they heal and come back together with you in a healthy way that you're going to be happy because that's, um, that's going to be the most dangerous um thing to get yourself involved into putting your happiness in somebody else's hands because then you're saying until this person does xyz then i can't be happy and that literally is you giving your power away to somebody else so take your power back from this realize that if it if, if this doesn't work out then it will work out with somebody else because the universe it will provide you with someone who is meant for you you are not just because it's this person, it does not mean that you are destined to be alone. Just because it's not this person does not mean that you um, you have to be perfectly healed before you deserve love. You know, these, these backwards ways of thinking will keep you stuck in not seeing your worth and not seeing what you're deserving of. Interesting reading. I This one kind of came out of the blue for me, but 
We're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to look at the truth of this connection. We have time and guides, like I said at the beginning. So we'll dive into more of what that means in the extended. I have two options for purchasing my extended. It's $5 per extended or $10 a month for access to all extendeds on my channel through my Patreon. All the information for that is in the description box below. All right, Virgo, I say it every single week, but thank you guys so much for the um, support of my channel. It means the world to me. I am so blessed that this gets to be what I do for a living. So thank you guys, and I wish you absolutely, as always, nothing but love and healing on your journey. Bye, Virgo.